Let me see if I understand your position. Is basically, would you say that it's wrong for the citizens to initiate physical force against other citizens like an armed robber does? Unless we permit they, but that But it's okay law. for the, it's okay for the government to do so. Because the government has been authorized by the people. Okay, but if the government authorized armed robbers to do it, it would be okay? If the government is that foolish to do so, I don't know what kind of country that would be, but uh, that's legal, and if it's constitutional, so be it. Okay, so you think that it's wrong for a citizen, an individual citizen, to initiate force against others to deprive them of their property, but it's okay for the government to do it if the it's majority not, has it elected is, it is that government. Okay, to... It is okay if the government is authorized to do so. The government is authorized to levy taxes, and the authorization comes from the people. Do the individual citizens have the right to initiate physical force against other citizens that have not initiated or threatened to initiate force against anybody and haven't violated anybody's property rights? They cannot do that because they are not authorized to do so under the right. law. So individual citizens don't have that right. If they don't have the right to initiate physical force against other citizens, could they have properly delegated that right to the government? Oh, yes. They do so right now. Can you properly delegate a right that you do not have? You can give the right to their representatives to make laws that will authorize or make prohibited certain activities. So you think that you can oh, delegate absolutely. a right that you don't have? You can properly delegate a right that you don't have? You cannot tax your neighbor, but you can authorize me as your senator to vote for a program that will tax your neighbor. Okay, so if you can, you say that a person can properly delegate a right that they do not have, is that correct? Yes. Okay, well, would, I don't have the right torture. to use, I don't have the right to use your home in Hawaii, right? But could I delegate that right to some of my friends? No way. Right, so you really can't delegate a right that you don't have. You have to have the right in order to delegate We're it, right? We're talking about the government here. Right. But you agreed that the individuals do not have but the you, right... But you can authorize the government right. but did to you take agree, over my residence. Okay, but did you, did, did you agree that the individuals did not have the right to initiate force against the other individuals? They don't have that right. No. So Although then, some people think they do. Then they could not have delegated that right if they didn't have it. They would delegate authority to us their representatives to make laws in their best interest. So even if they don't have the right, they can delegate it to somebody else? To make laws that might right. do that. So then you think that you can actually delegate a right that you do not have. The individuals do not have the right to initiate force against others. As, I would suppose, in, as individuals? Well, if they get together, then all of a sudden they have the right? If they authorize the government to do so, yes. Well. If, if, if they authorize the government to enter into a war and kill people, that's a right. I, I, it seems like there's a contradiction there as far as if you say that all legitimate governmental power is derived from the people. You agree that the individual citizens do not have the right to initiate force against other citizens, then it would seem clear that I they cannot we'll just, why delegate don't we just that leave right it, to the why government. Why don't we just leave it this way? We disagree. Hey, what's happening, Staff Sergeant? How you doing? Hey, my name's Adam. Nice to meet you. I was in the Marines. I do a YouTube channel now called Adam vs. The Man. You mind telling me what it's like being here for inauguration? Uh, it's a great thing to be here. Right on. Um, can I ask uh, about what you think of President Obama? Well, I, uh, I support our new leader, and uh, that's pretty much all I really feel about that's that. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Support our leader. Hey, I do command in chief, so Obama. Oh, boy, <laughs> it's your moment to shine. Get off when you enlisted, you swore an oath to the Constitution, right? Yes. And do you think Obama's policies are constitutional? I don't really follow politics too much. So you swore an oath with your life to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and you have no idea what that means. Hey, right, sounds good to me, sir, if that's the way you want to put it. Really? That's it? That's it. That sounds pretty dangerous. It sounds like following orders without question. 
Nope, I just uh, do what I'm told by my leaders, so that's pretty much it. I leave the politics to other people. So you do follow orders without question? Uh, from my leaders, yes. Yeah. So if they if, if they told you to to do something that was immoral, you wouldn't you wouldn't question it. You wouldn't wonder what the basis of that was or where that order came from or what its real purpose was. You you just do it because someone told you to, and they're they're paying your paycheck. Hey, whatever you want to say, sir. Hey, don't call me sir. I was a sergeant. There you go. I worked for a living. Okay. But I got out and I found out what I, what was you know wrong with following orders without questioning them, and I found out that when I was in Fallujah in 2004 with the Marine Corps Civil Affairs team, we weren't really serving the people or protecting people. We were serving the politicians and the banksters and the war profiteers. I mean, doesn't that bother you to to know that you're a, a pawn and all that, and, and that you allow it to happen by just following orders without question? Hey, whatever way you feel, sir. Well, I'm asking how you feel. Well, it's not really important how I feel. Feelings been conditioned out of you? You're you're a, a soldier now? However you feel, sir. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to say on the subject for posterity? No, sir. Well, let me tell you, there's... Hey, you got to stop calling me sir, man. All right, sir. Staff Sergeant. Oh, uh, all right. I see how it is. Well, there's an organization called Oath Keepers. And it's about people who, who take their oath to that to that constitution seriously and want to make sure that things like what happened in Katrina, where there were soldiers and National Guard troops asked to take away citizens' firearms who were trying to defend themselves, or you know troops being used against the American citizens, they want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Would you be interested in, in having a little uh, a, a more understanding of your oath and, and commitment to the constitution that you swore an oath to support and defend? I'm good the way I am, sir. Really? Doesn't that make you part of the problem? Hey, if there's a problem, I'm not aware of it. Is ignorance bliss? Could be, sir.